Okay, so I thought today I could do a review of the penguin or marine land penguin 200 filter hang on the back obviously I've talked about this filter all the time in videos and I thought today I could just make a review of it because I've had it for almost a year now and I guess we could talk about the pros and cons of it I guess starting off with the um, pros is that it's a very big filter I mean you can really customize it I mean you really don't have to use those pads they give you which I've never even used them uh, I've always had sponges and Kimmy Pure in it this entire time but it basically what I mean by big is like you can really st stick a lot of stuff you know like compared to the Fluo 50 which it does it just as much as flow so that's kind of already the con of that is look how small this is compared to that but yet that does just as much flow but this doesn't have much rough space like you only could put three things in here maybe four at the most this you, I have like in this I have bag of Kimi Pure sponge Kimi Pure sponge then under all this I have like three more sponges so I can stuff a lot of room in there and a lot of stuff <clears throat> I guess the kind of other pro is I don't know if it's really a pro to other people but the bio wheel obviously it serves as biological filtration and it's kind of cool that they have it and it does work I mean People say it stops working after a while. I mean, it's still running. I mean, you can see how fast it's going. It still works fine after like nine, like ten months since I've had it. So I guess the con is like, see how a lot of water. It is kind of, it kind of makes a lot of splashing if you don't like noise. That's one thing. This filter make a lot of water noise. I mean, I guess it really doesn't. It's better than. It kind of flows down and flows straight. Unlike this one, it just flows straight down, which makes more noise. But if you don't like a lot of noise, then that's probably going to be annoying to you sometimes. But it's really not that bad. But I guess another con is that the output is kind of covered up. The output's really big. Like the Fluval 50, it's smaller. And this has a middle and the top, which I just keep the middle open because the the bottom one's covered in all this plant. So, so I just keep that one open just so if something gets up here. And, well, they just start to come out. But, So yeah, having even the, like just the tubing, it's all bigger, so it just it can pull in a lot of more waste. I guess another con, it's kind of for me. I don't know if anybody else does, but if, like the, there's this little area where the pump is, and most people don't put media there, but I do. And that's kind of a pro to me. Like you can put media right here, and ha before it even goes into the aqua filter, you can put in media. I have a bag of Kimmy Pure in there before it even goes into the main filter and then it gets sponge. Uh, uh, Kimmy Pure and another sponge. So, and I guess another pro it has this kind of splash guard. Like this one, it doesn't really have anything covering the front. So, I guess the cons is just the spot the file will stop spinning it will like I don't know if it'll stop but it'll slow down it won't be as effective but if you keep mine clean like you know every like couple months or even longer you kind of splash around in some tank water it'll start spinning just as fast again so I I haven't had it long enough to see how long it can truly last but, but that's kind of a con right now the other con is I don't know, this is kind of my pro, but 
as, at the same time as a con is how big it is. Because obviously, you need filter for your aquarium, but you don't want your filter to be so big. Like this one, that's why I like this one, because it's nice and slim. It looks a little more modern, if that makes sense. Like, it just, like, it actually looks kind of nice. This one's just kind of big and bulky. Which, I mean, it as sometimes is a good thing for, obviously, what I just said. And, but I don't really like having a big filter. So, just, like, yeah. takes me... I think the next con is like, you can see that it does a lot of flow, and that's actually a pro. It does make a lot of flow if you like a lot of flow, but it can also be a con if you don't need a lot of flow. So you can see how much waves it does, and I, I have the, and I actually have the wave maker turned off right now because the koi doors are having a hard time swimming up to the top to get a breath. So I had to turn it off, but you see how much waves it makes just by itself, and then obviously this doesn't really do much when it comes to waves but but the kind of con is see how it splashes up and I have my light like right here so if you don't want to get your light ruined then it kind of would be bad you can see kind of the water dried up water marks on here isn't the best thing I mean this water this flight is um water re resistance I don't have the waterproof version which is the plant plus but Still, you don't want your, you don't want rust or anything. I mean, I try to clean it off as much as I can, but that's kind of the quick pros and cons of the Penguin 200. But overall, it is a pretty good filter, especially you can get it pretty cheap now. I mean, you go to some of these websites, you can probably get this for like $20, $30. Paco says it's like 40 which I wouldn't pay $40 for this filter. If you're going to pay 40 get like the Apple Clears or something. But I mean, if you need a filter, this isn't that bad. Obviously, I'd always recommend this filter more than anything. It's 10 times better than what that does, but obviously th this has its pros and cons too. But that's basically the review of that. All my koi, koi doors are st still doing fine. They had, they, their color was kind of away. Now they're like, I think they've been in this tank for a while. Then they're like all white and black now, so they look really cool. My big group of neons are still doing. Beta chilling. He always looks like green on the camera. He's actually like super blue. Like his fans and stuff. He almost looks like a... What do you call it? Like the arowana that King of DIY has. Not that it's a big one, but his new one. The the red tail one. That's what my beta, that's what my beta looks like. Kind of like the miniature version of that. But he has like kind of red fans and then a little bit of blue on his body. But it didn't show up good on camera. But in the next couple of weeks, obviously school ends on Wednesday, so Heartscape is coming. I, I just keep saying that just so you guys know. Not everybody, not everybody watches every single video, so I just to make sure I mention it. We'll have some type of sand and then serious stones, and we'll see how it goes from there. But eventually. All this plants and stuff will be gone. And if anybody, I doubt it, but if you, if if you guys actually want to like buy all these plants super cheap, put that in the comments because I might end up selling all these things online. So if you guys actually want them, I might give you a good deal. Because this log alone is sixty, and then all these plants are like twenty dollars together. So <clears throat> I'd probably sell all these plants for like twenty dollars. Maybe thirty, it depends. Like, but if you guys actually want these like plants really cheap, there there's nothing wrong with them. These locks, obviously, there's nothing weird growing on it or nothing. All these plants look good, grow nice and clean. So if anybody wants some cheap bee core, just say put that in the comments, and I'll make sure if I do go to sell them, you can have it. 
Yeah, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and...